Hey guys, welcome back. In today's video, we are going to be looking at the rigging basics. Uh, what are they and how can you apply them to your own character in your own animations? We're going to be looking at two different rigging methods, parenting and using bones or the armature. So let's go ahead and get started. In this scene, I've got a set of arms, right and left. We're going to parent them using different methods. The one on the left, the right arm, will be rigged using parenting. And the one on the right, which is the left arm, we're going to parent using bones or the armature. Um, I need to explain a little bit to you. This set of objects I've converted into grease pencil objects. And with parenting, you don't even need to do that. They can be curves or planes or 3D objects. It doesn't really matter. And you can tell that I've moved the origin point to the place of rotation, to the center point of, of rotation, the pivot point. Uh, for, for example, this shoulder or the sleeve, the pivot point is up here in the shoulder the forearm or the lower arm the pivot point will be at the elbow and the hand the pivot point will be at the wrist and i've already moved those i have a video explaining that and so we're going to parent these and the pivot points have been moved to their uh, position in this side we're, we have the arm that we're going to rig using bones or the armature and the pivot point doesn't really matter because we're not going to control this by clicking on the actual item. These have all been converted to grease pencil. We're going to control these using obviously the bones. So the pivot point, the origin point doesn't really even matter here. Let's get started by doing this one first, the parenting. Now, when you parent something, you are creating a hierarchy. A hierarchy means that one object controls another. And one object is being controlled by the main object. So, for instance, this will control the entire arm. Um, and in a hierarchy here, it's called parenting because the parent object will control the child object. The child object will be controlled by the parent object. So this is the hierarchy that we're going to create using parenting. And so you have to determine what object is going to be the parent of all the objects, the entire chain. And I've determined that the shoulder will be the parent for the entire chain. So I'm going to select the upper arm first. You select the child object first. Hold down shift and then select the parent object and then do command P for parenting. And then you can set the parent, uh, keep transform. Object, set parent, keep transform. And you can test it out just by selecting the shoulder and rotating it and that upper arm is already parented to that sleeve or the shoulder. Now, so we're gonna select the lower arm child first and then shift click on the upper arm child first and then the parent command p object keep transform so again if we just select just the shoulder or the sleeve and then we rotate it the entire arm goes with it i'm going to undo that select the hand child first and then select the lower arm that's the parent and then command P to parent and object keep transform and now it's completely rigged this arm is rigged okay let's go ahead and start animating I'm going to select the shoulder or the sleeve turn on auto keyframe and then just rotate it a little bit so that so that it uh, registers that keyframe on there I'm going to move to frame 20 uh, and raise it up. It'll create a keyframe. 
and then at 40 uh, let's bring it back down now let's animate the lower arm the lower arm let's register that first keyframe uh, what do we want it to do on frame 20 let's bend oops let's bend it remember we're only um, rotating the Y so let's bend it all the way to here and then on frame 40 let's uh, do this and then the next object we're going to animate is the wrist the hand let's um, rotate it just a bit so that we can register that keyframe on frame 20 we're going to bend it in and then at frame 40 uh, let's put it uh, there so if I hit play uh, there we go that's it that's all you have to do okay let's uh, look at the the arm on the right for this one we are going to work in object mode um, and we are going to start creating the joints in object mode go ahead and add armature and that's going to create a single bone in your scene and that's okay grab it Let's go ahead and grab it and put it right up here in the shoulder. This is the main, this is the start of the joint and this is the end. So in edit mode, I'm gonna grab this end and put it right on the elbow. In order to extract or extrude another joint I'm gonna hit E and then put it right on the wrist and then hit E to extrude again hit E and then put it right on the end of the arm and there is my armature there is my bones uh, but right now they don't control anything um, if I rotate them they, they don't control anything I just created them let's go ahead and attach the joints to the arm or vice versa the arm to the joints um, by selecting them and parenting the objects to the joints or to the bones so select the the hand shift select the lower arm and then the upper arm and then the shoulder or the sleeve I've got all my objects selected and then lastly, hold, hold down the shift, select the armature. The parent goes last and then hit command P. And then we're going to do armature deform with empty groups, with empty groups. And if I, if I select the armature or the bones, uh, it's going to try to, let's go to pose mode select this joint and nothing happens you can see that in object mode in object mode the hand is attached the entire arm is attached but you can't control the the individual um, joints you're controlling the entire chain so in order for you to pose it you need to go to pose mode and then in this mode you can see that it's detached we just need to attach all of the objects to their corresponding joints or bones and then it will be fine we are we need to name these uh, bones let's go to edit mode select this bone go to select the bone properties and let's call it upper arm uh, select this one we'll call this lower arm And then we'll select this one and call it wrist. Now that we have selected and named these bones, upper arm, lower arm, and wrist, we need to attach the objects to the bones. Before we do this, um, I'd like to go to the armature, click on view display port, 
I mean viewport display and then show the names upper arm lower arm and wrist that way you can see the names of the bones let's go to object mode select the shoulder or the sleeve and here in the grease pencil uh, properties let me push this up so you can see I'm gonna close this onion skinning and you can see that it is attached to the arm but the assign button is grayed out we need to be in edit mode you need to select this object in edit mode let's go with uh, selecting strokes instead of the points we're gonna select these strokes make sure that it's selected and now we can assign this stroke to the upper bone upper arm bone assign bone and then let's go back to object mode select the upper arm the upper arm let's hit the tab for edit mode and then let's uh, let's attach it to and so I've got some extra bones here but those were from the last uh, session that I did uh, you can get rid of those just by deleting them deleting these extra wrist bone boom deleted okay upper arm bone assign go back to object mode select the next one the lower arm go to edit mode let me get rid of this one delete and delete so we're going to assign this one to the lower arm assign let's go back to object mode select the hand edit mode and then and assign it to the wrist assign and so if we go now to object mode select the chain and go to pose mode oops pose mode you're going to select the the upper arm bone and there it is and select the lower arm bone and there it is and select the wrist bone and boom there it is I'm going to undo all that stuff and then keyframe it let's keyframe all this stuff I have auto keyframe turned on I have have the upper arm bone selected in the pose mode and there is a keyframe on there and there is a keyframe on because we just rotated it there is a keyframe on the lower arm bone and there is a keyframe on the wrist bone on frame 20 we are going to start animating we're going to lift this arm we're going to bend this let's do this kind of extreme and in here and then on frame 40 we're going to bring this in and this right about here remember in this method we're animating the actual bones we're not even touching any of the um, grease pencil items so we've got our animation if I hit um, there we go oh and so let's fix this frame one seems to be wanting to be over here we just need to bring it down to frame one now let's hit play goes up and over up and over and that's it guys parenting method may seem a little simpler uh, it can get complicated remember you're building a hierarchy the shoulder is the parent of the upper arm the upper arm is a parent of the lower arm and the lower arm is a parent of the uh, wrist or the hand and here when you create an armature the bones are already in their hierarchy this bone up here is the parent of this bone the lower arm and the lower arm is the parent of the wrist of bone 
all you have to do is attach the um, objects that you've drawn as grease pencil objects to their perspective bones and then that's it animate the bone structure and then th there you have it so this is a very simple setup again guys this is a very very simple basic understanding of the rigging system there's obviously a lot more to rigging than this this is just the intro to the basics i didn't go into controllers nor constraints nor ik or fk but this is a great start you can you can actually rig a character just using this these one of these two methods and then get started animating in the next video i would like to rig it an entire character i don't know if whether i use parenting or use the armature but what do you guys think should i rig a character using parentings or using bones you let me know and and we'll get a character rigged and animated in the next video so again, guys, I, I really hope that this video was useful to you. And if you liked the video, go ahead and hit the like button and subscribe. And I will see you on the next one. Thank you.